In December 2022, Ink announced the mass production of Ink Gallery 3, which I covered in a video back then. Gallery 3 is what I'd like to call real color ink because instead of using an RGB filter on top of a black and white ink screen, it uses colored ink particles, which is the holy grail for e-paper because it essentially works similarly to printing colors on a sheet of paper and as a result should look cleaner and more vibrant than current color ink tech. With the 2022 announcement, Inc. named seven companies that would adopt this real color ink technology in 2023. But guess what? That didn't happen. Only BigMe released a device for the consumer market. And even that launch didn't go smoothly. The BigMe Galley started out with a crowdfunding campaign and many people were eager to get their hands on the next generation of color ink technology. But in the end, it took several weeks for BigMe to actually deliver the galley to all backers. There seemed to be some serious issues with supplying those screens, which essentially was confirmed by Pocketbook later on. They announced that the Viva was on hold because of development and supply issues. So in the end, neither Pocketbook nor the other five companies that were mentioned in the initial press release released an e Gallery 3 device in 2023. And since then, we haven't heard a beep from Inc. or any of the other companies about Gallery 3. They are instead heavily pushing Inc. Gallery 3 with many new releases. The last one being Kobo as Amazon's largest competitor joining the club. Check out my Is Color Inc. Worth It Right Now video to learn more about the current development. So that begs the question, is Gallery 3 dead? I doubt it for three reasons. The first one being that real color ink technology with colored ink particles is, as I said in the beginning, the holy grail for e-paper. Many people will quickly jump to color e-paper displays if they don't have to compromise too much. Right now, Ink Alita 3 is actually very close, but with the muted colors and especially with the darker and grainier screen, it's far from perfect. And still, even with those compromises, the demand for those new color ink devices is incredibly high. So high in fact that it's rumored that Kobo will release a 10-inch color e-reader because of the high demand in that smaller segment. So what we're seeing with Ink Later 3 to be so widely adopted right now is just the beginning in my opinion. The second reason why I think Ink Gallery 3 will be back soon actually comes from a statement Inc. made themselves. In the recently released Investors report, Inc. actually mentions Gallery 3 adoption for e-readers. That report was released in March 2024 and the Redditor spotted that statement recently. Inc. released the 8-inch advanced color e-paper, Gallery 3, in 2022 to enhance the experience of using color e-readers. In 2024, we will provide an upgraded version of the 8-inch advanced color e-paper, Gallery 3, aiming to deliver optimized performance and enhanced visual experience for customers. So they are explicitly talking about the 2024 release of an improved 8-inch version of Gallery 3. So that statement alone makes it clear that that technology is still in active development and we'll possibly see an e-reader or tablet with it very soon. And I'll come back to that as my third reason in a moment. Just one thing I want to point out is that the statement is still be taken with a grain of salt because Inc. mentions Gallery 3 was released in 2022, which technically is correct when looking at the date of the announcement, but the Big Miguelli was only available in 2023. So with that in mind, the 2024 release Inc. is mentioning here could as well mean that we won't see an improved Gallery 3 device until 2025. Which brings me to the third reason for thinking Ink Gallery 3 will make a comeback soon and I just want to point out that this is pure speculation on my part, but nonetheless I want to mention it. Every company that's still actively developing e-readers and operating globally has at least one Color Ink device in its portfolio right now, except one. You guessed it. Amazon. The company is the odd one out at the moment with just offering black and white devices. 
In another video, I speculated that we will see a Kindle Color sooner than initially expected because of the recent Kobo e-reader releases. And I still think that's true. While Amazon could ignore the other smaller companies like books, mostly operating in a niche, Kobo is Amazon's largest global rival and I doubt they can ignore that development for too long now. And here's where the improved version of Ink Gallery 3 might come into play. I think it's entirely possible that Amazon could be the first to use that tech. We've already seen how Amazon exclusively got access to the 300 PPI 10.2 inch Ink Cardo screen in the scribe. I don't think it's far fetched to think that could happen again with an improved version of Gallery 3 as well. And the fact that Ink has not published a press release this time, in my opinion, also suggests that this Gallery 3 relaunch might be a more exclusive arrangement this time around, with just one company that also happens to be more secretive than the rest, Amazon. But again, as I said, don't hold your breath for that. That's just pure speculation on my part. Maybe Ink just doesn't want to publish a press release this time around because last time it didn't go so well. Having said that, with Ink mentioning a 2024 re-release of Gallery 3 in the Investors report specifically, I'd say it's a safe bet that we'll see that tech at some point in the not so distant future and reports of its end have been greatly exaggerated. Check out my latest video on the current color Ink tech right here and also like and subscribe to not miss future updates on this topic. Thanks for your time watching and see you in the next one.